Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Thousand Week Reich. I'm your host, Mr. Mokobaba. Now we gotta talk about the White Trial. On exactly 11 a.m., or exactly at 11 a.m., a former general dressed in a plain blank officer uniform was brought before court. It seems that the authorities have stripped the man of all medals and insignias, showing that his glorious days in the Far East were meaningless, and what matters now is the severity of his sentence. The state provided lawyers did nothing in the defense of his client. The general, attempting to alter his fate, pleaded guilty, naively thinking that this would land him a lighter sentence. Not after five minutes of deliberation, the judge returned with a determined punishment, execution by hanging. The general reacted frantically, crying and shying, repeating the same sentence over and over again as he was dragged to the gallows outside. I did it for Russia. The motherland, please. The traitors deserve no forgiveness, which we lose some manpower. Whatever, we have over nine million. We get five percent more stability, which is nice, because we're at max. And we get a little more political power, thank God, but we're doing the reconstruction scheme. With the reunited motherland, the time of healing has finally arrived. <sighs> yes, and it is definitely some healing that we're going to be doing here, as we are suffering from supply issues in some certain areas here, which does suck quite a bit. Of course, we're down here, we are trying to build ourselves up a little bit more. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. And, uh, ooh, agency was created. Very nice. Rocket artillery. That would be interesting to use, but we're kind of a little late to use that, so we'll grab this instead. With all this extra PP, let's reintegrate Gratia. Demand Karelia. Restore order. Um, this is Commissariat of Uzbekistan, so let's get started with, uh, having a little bit of fun here. You guys are going to start training. And get ready to GRO. Grow? Go. Go, yeah. We want to go, not GRO. And that's fine with us. So, other than that, hopefully we get more of a focus tree. Oh, we don't even have continuous focuses, huh? Well, that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, we're still building some civvies up, and more millies, some more railroads, all that good stuff, you know. Are we lacking guns? Um, no, we're doing well on guns. We need a few more artillery pieces. A lot of support equipment, though. So a little sucky that we need so much support equipment. But here we are, my friends. Are we suffering from supply issues? Oh, of course we are. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we be? Oh, we are struggling down here, aren't we? We can't pierce the cell, even though supply over here... Oh, not good. Not good. Ooh, actually, we get to take Tashkent. That actually has an airport, and that would be extremely beneficial for us. But hopefully we'll do well down there. We get to demand Karelia... Mm, how many divisions they got over here? We do have military access. They're led by Urhol. Do they have any focus tree? Uh, somewhat. So we'll finish defense for forces. Lessons of liberation. Ah, Barrett reunites the Soviet Union. Well, we're not there yet, but the German from the German conquest of the massy divorce of the Soviet Union, Barrett has finally managed to reunite the fractured land, spreading from Europe to the Pacific. The former warland, warlord lands are now controlled by unifi unified authority, marking the end of a disunited chapter of Soviet history. And the capital, Lentry Berry, addresses the nation, promising future economic reforms and condemns the false government. He also welcomed the return of Soviet citizens from the Far East, saying that the glorious worker stays now back on track to become a global superpower once again. A global power, maybe not superpower, but at least global power. Um, that's a case. You know what? I'd rather have these guys just go to war with these guys, because we want to demand uh, stuff here. Oh, Soviet reconstruction! Yay, more focus tree. After much carnage and suffering for the Soviet people, it's now possible. And finally, time to relaunch the great Soviet reconstruction. Bad enough? Sofia Frolov? Vasily Voroshilov. I'm sorry, but I'm a sucker for Sofia. Let's get our soldiers on the border first, and then we'll see what happens. As we're definitely struggling down here. Oh my goodness, we're losing force defense, huh? Are we losing? How bad are we losing here? How do they get supplies? They're... I hate this area so much, man. It sucks so much. We got hospitals. I'm not sure we really need them, but I'm running out of things to really just get, so it's that too. Thank you. Force defense. They're not going to be able to break through the armor like this. Heck no. Heck no. And if they break through the armor, I'll be very surprised. No, they can break through the armor. Okay, then. You guys suck. And you guys are struggling way, 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 way too much around here. You know, I don't understand why these guys... You got encircled. Why are you so bad? Why? We are, they are taking supply base, too. God dang it. Okay, so this makes no sense. How are we struggling down here and these guys are not? Screw it. I'm going to leave it open. Let them come in. Standing on the balcony, Levent Beria and his ministers made a, street, a speech addressing the nation. And in the speech, Beria spoke of the unity and reconstruction, declaring how the unification of the Soviet Union has emerged victorious despite the challenges raised by pretenders. The reaction from the crowd is not as enthusiastic as Beria might have liked. While his victory is significant, many citizens simply do not care about a celebration of victory against a fellow countryman. Regardless, Beria continued his speech, and at the end of his address, he and his ministers raised their fists and shouted in unison, Glory to the USSR, Wildcat Strikes. The working conditions have finally reached a boiling point after years of oppression and endless work. Many workers have launched wildcat strikes across the country, begging the government to enact better working conditions. 
threats from within. Just because Barry re reunified the country, that does not mean his unpopularity among the elites would be excused. Behind Barry's back, politicians are preparing, preparing for his demise. Oh crap. Um, honestly, this needs a rework. And it's not just in Thousand Week Drag, but this, the AI can do extremely well against us here. That makes no sense. And they're not suffering any attrition. They're basically suffering no attrition. Like, it's it's so bad. It's just so bad. Get out of here. I'm, I'm gonna let them come in because they're not suffering enough attrition here to do that well against us. I'm sorry, but no, absolutely not. That it's not even the devs' fault. It's Hoi Four in general. It's so bad. Force to attack. Either die or take Tashkent. Those are literally your two options. I I, I don't care. I mean, this is stupid. It's absolutely stupid. They're gonna get encircled and destroyed here. So. Get out. This is... How are they not suffering any attrition here? It makes no sense. It makes literally no sense. I hate this part so much. So incredibly much. The supply it just ruined Central Asia. And I get it, it's not supposed to have a lot of supply, but it, it ruined this area so badly. And that's why we have to force the attack here. Because other than that, you, got, you can't do anything else. Go in. Go in and kill them off. Economic depression. The economic situation in the reunified Soviet Union has continued to decline. At this rate, so you might be entering an economic depression. Are you kidding me? Bro, how? How? Yo, man, I, I, don't, I, I don't care. Just kill them all off if you can. That's all I care about at this point. You're going to keep going in. I do not care. One little bit. I'm done with this war. I'm completely done. These guys are not taking enough attrition. My good God, they need to take more. If we're taking this much attrition ourselves, and they do not, that's completely unfair. But strikes in the capital. The workers of Moscow can no longer tolerate the deteriorating living conditions. Despite all the regulations and steps in place to prevent this exact event, workers have managed to organize themselves and launch strikes against, strike actions against the central government. They're demanding better pay and better treatment. Um, so this does nothing. That's a waste of... That's such a waste. Why would you want this? For 5% consumer goods factories? That's such a waste. Holy crap. And we don't care about that. Weapon, weapon sales. No, we're good too. Yeah, we don't need that either. Um, there you thaw. Nothing there either. I mean, what? Some stuff here I really don't agree with. But, demand Karelia. Oh, we can't even do anything else here. Restoring the Union. Well, they went to war with us, so... It's annoying. Can you actually win here? Do you actually have planes? Oh, they're doing force def Wow, they're doing force defense? Holy crap. Uh, shot bombers, anything else here? Not really too much, now. I'd love to force the attack, but... I already spent way too much command power as is. Look at that. Beautiful. That's beautiful, my friends. Yeah, just go in there and circle them to kill them all that way. I wish it wasn't glitched. Apologies for the rages early on, but I don't tolerate this type of crappy supply situation. That's why I hate fighting down here. It's so bad. No, this is this part is really unfun. But the government responds. A government response to the worker struck is clearly under debate. The hawkish members are calling for aggressive suppression of the event, while their former, such as Nikolai Kuznetsov, support negotiations with the strikers. No matter what choice Beria does, the strikers are growing in strength by the hour, and there's little time left, of course. Send in the troops. Send in the negotiators. Uh Hawkish members. I don't know. Senate negotiators? Change in revolution to communism? That's not like right. Senate the negotiators. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we can do. Anything here? No, not really. Anything for you here? Adaptable? Oh, that'd be good. That's good, actually. That's very good. Quite good for us. A growing movement? The anti barrier sediments have only grown stronger ever since the reunification and incorporation of different parts of the country. This brewing plot can no longer be contained. It's finally time for the sides to make their moves. Internal opposition groups, despite Barry's attempt at appeasing all factions, a new web of internal opposition has grown uh, and resurfaced. These groups are unsatisfied with the administration's handling of the recent event strikes. What do you mean? We're, we sent in negotiators. What? 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 what type of garbage is that? Like, I get Barry's not a cool dude, but. Bro. Seriously, man. Go. You're not. You're not gonna wait. You're gonna just kill them all off. Ooh, RPGs, though. Very nice. 
A second plot. According to our party informants, a new plot to oust Levent has been formulated by the prominent opposition members of the Communist Party. They'll learn? When will they learn? A thrust from within. Ally with the Hardliners. Um, I don't want to lose them. I wanted this to be a fairly just straight barrier run, so I'm not really sure. A new plot. When will they learn? I mean, I wanted to negotiate with them, but... Well, that's why I sent negotiations in, but, you know... I'm gonna murder every single last one of these people under Olimov. Olimov's gonna die. They're already out of manpower, so thank God. They have a couple support equipment pieces left, which is fine. Whatever, we don't really care. In 1970, it's kind of ridiculous to get all the way down there. Ah, uh, get gravel on that one. can. Why not? I don't care if it's over the, over the hills and into the mountains. Why not? Whatever. I just want them all exterminated like the bugs they are. Oh my god, stop it, stop it. Why are you lagging so hard? Get in there, get in there. Mm. Oh, good. And put them all in camps. Seriously, put them all in camps. I apologize, but like, I hate Central Asia. I hate it with a burning passion. That's why sometimes in Kaiser Redux, or just Kaiser Reich, it's so un... Russia just is so weak because they can't deal with Central Asia anymore. Supply situations need to be... A little more rectified. Especially for the AI. Because we can deal with it. Like, I hate it, but we can still deal with it. The AI sometimes just cannot. It, it literally just cannot deal with it. Which is stupid. Um, anything else here? Going. You're going to force the attack. We lost a motorized division, which isn't super important, but like, still. I want these, all these people dead. All of them dead. No peace with these people. Good. Keep going in. Finland should have, like, no manpower left by the time we're done with them. Less than 50,000. Good. Uh, they got no equipment left. Got a couple tanks, though. Alright, they got a couple pieces of anti-air. Did you took, like, four? Once again, 0.53. I mean, come on. So stupid. Stuff about the fire. The palace coup has failed. The palace coup. Oh, we get Alexander Pokrescu by Shev. Oh, that's the troublemakers. Anti-barrier movement. Wait, what? The anti barrier plot is now in full motion with a movement now outwardly applying pressure on the leadership of Beria. The will of the rest of the party will determine the fate of Beria. Tough for your design, old fat man. What? Depose? Well, we'll see what happens. The anti barrier movement. The anti barrier plot, of course, is now in full motion with the movement now outwardly applying pressure from the leadership of Leventry Beria. The will of the rest of the party will determine the fate of the barrier. The barrier will stay now. We lose daily political power stability, weekly stability, and weekly war support. It feels like they're just trying to extend this campaign. It's already 1960 almost, and usually by 1960, everything's over, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, so instead of negotiating with the hardliners, or negotiating with the strikers, we just send in soldiers to kill them all off. Uh, we also allied with the hardliners instead of doing the other one. When will they learn? So I'll snuff out the fire. The party of rebels will be crushed. Before this anti-barrier fire grows into something much stronger, the swift government actions will snuff out this fire in its tracks. The goal of symbolic legitimacy. Things will cost us but a part. Oh, it's this one. Retreat to the secondary line. Looks like Beria is simply too controversial of a man. This unified Soviet Union cannot tolerate him any longer for the sake of the party unity and regime stability. Beria must resign and hand the torch to a successor. What? Are you... What? What's the point of having him in place? What the heck? Oh, the Russian Finland. It's been defeated and clearly reclaimed. How shall Finland be governed in the future? Finish? Yeah, no. To hell with Finland. You put us... You didn't give us our stuff... Yeah, sorry, but I'm never going to give Finns independence if they, you know, do what they do to us. So, no thank you. No, no thank you, sir. Adaptable, though, is very good. Recovering from strikes. Industrial strikes, or capacity, is largely recovered since the region, or recent labor actions with enough time. The industry will once again reaches full capacity. The situation, of course, is improving. Which is very, very good. I wanted Beria, but, you know, the game's just like, nope. Of course, then again, who actually says they want Beria, but whatever. Uh, what do we have over here? What do we have? 1960 stuff. Research speed. Yes. Please, happy 1960, everybody. Apologies for any sort of rage I had earlier, but just... Sometimes this is just really flippin' frustrating. Trying to get correct routes and stuff. And it's not like there's a guide telling us how to do this. Like, I just discovered most of this pretty much on my own. Um, roads still nice. Getting some melee these, getting some civvies. Not bad. Some good stuff here. Uh, at the same time, still keep training until you all die, so which is good. Uh, 1960 stuff. We did research. Get some better planes. Yes, please. Uh, just this whole political power thing. Like I said before, it sucks. And we got. We have to do this. P period of gradual progress. 
Enter the world stage. Restoring the Union. Oh, we can do that one. But yeah, we, ha we have to do this one. I mean, we can't lose weekly war support or we and weekly stability, so. Kind of dumb in my opinion, but the goal is symbolic legitimacy. To this day, some politicians might not agree that the Barry administration might not be legitimate. The use of symbolic legitimacy can be extremely important. Providing the people with that great economic results, the people can surely pass the infamy of Liberia. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, we'll definitely see. My God. <sighs> Point six three. That's so bad. Old Garden Retreat. Economic downturn. Just... I don't know if it's a downturn. I, I would say with all the conquests that you're doing here, it needs to have a time of stabilization and reconfiguration so that the economy is going to work as a whole. I mean, it might be twisted around. It might not work extremely well. I want to say it's a downturn. Now, would it be a downturn? Would it really be a downturn? I don't know. I mean, why would you have even worse penalties? I mean, you might have some, like, consumer goods factors, you know, with the whole confederation configuration of the economy being reworked a little bit, but economic downturn? I don't know. I don't know about that. State Security Bureau? Not bad. Not great. But that's a lot of encryption decryption, actually. That's a god-awful amount. Is it worth having this? Honestly, in my opinion, no. Uh, Culture Boom is still very nice, and the Red Army looks nice, too, so. Alright, what else do we have here? 1960 stuff. Get some better planes. We don't produce garbage, right? Right. Lost a division earlier, but it is what it is. Anything else here? Level 3. No, not too much else. How are we doing with tanks? Ooh, willing resignation. There's little a man can do to clear his image when the accusations are of rape and mass murdering. General Secretary Levantry Barry, despite all of his expectations, has already led a somewhat successful reign, but for the sake of avoiding future conflicts and misunderstandings, Barry must resign from his post because of the devs, of course. <clears throat> This resignation will be a powerful one, a graceful one, where Barrio gets to go out in his own terms, but most importantly, instead of control being controlled by the hardliners, a successor that Barrio puts in charge should confidently win the approval of the government. Merkulov will take it from here, or Kuznetsov is an interesting choice. I do like that one. He's a reformist, huh? Naval theorist. Uh, Merkulov? Merkulov? Do we have him here at all? Merkulov? No. There he is. Oh, I see not bad. I honestly don't know. I, I know, I actually looked him up in real life. Uh, Kuznetsov, I think it was, was he taken out? Later on, I think he was. I mean, that looks pretty good. He's a reformist and a naval theorist. Mikhailov, I want to see what this guy does, though. Uh, well, if you want to read about him, please go ahead. Yeah, I was former member of Beria's Georgian Mafia. Yeah. Alright, well, it is what it is. Period of gradual progress. Encouraging internal trade, which is okay. Enter the world stage. Eh, it's okay. Restoring the Union probably is a good one. Need to get more political power immediately. Through conquest and diplomacy, the splintered governments have been brought down. The lands of the USSR have once again been united under its legitimate government. As we seek to advance in a new age, we must first rebuild the state infrastructure of the USSR and formalize this glorious reunification. Only then can we build, begin to recover from the great trials that people have suffered at the hands of the Nazi invaders and each other. Build, build, build. Renovation. Wait, what do you have decisions to restore Moscow? The Far East. State production co projects. Return to the Soviet might. <sighs> I don't know. I see what they're going for, but I don't know. This is not exactly what I envisioned for this campaign, but whatever. I'm just a guy on the internet complaining way too much. Yay. Let's see. Could use more army XP. Of course, we are using these guys to help suppress the area and Finland is not will never deserve independence let's see civilian oversight's fine still looking good Finland's a little high actually we have you here so we can actually use you to put down a little bit of resistance not much but I mean, helping put down resistance is always nice is it not 39 days not bad Vershinin Kuznetsov Kuznetsov Andreev and Chuikov like we saw last time transistor computing nice more encryption is also very good as well and restoring our good old Union. Please, please, please. Actually, for this one, we just got what? No effect, of course. I don't want to do... Oh, actually, actually, this one's going to do, because you remove the party uh, political power cost, daily PP cost, simulating war sports. So we'll probably do this one next. Development is a gradual process. Or progress. With time and little steps, the Soviet Union will eventually develop into a paradise of equality and prosperity. For now, though, a bit of inequality won't hurt anybody. Oh, we're going to get awesome, but we don't own Minsk. Restore order? Oh, an ultimatum. We're going to be a neighbor, so... 
Uh, declares war on these guys. Rex Commissar. Actually, anti German, pro German front. Hmm, Minsk would be nice, but that costs so much PP that we don't have. I'd rather just go to war. So maybe the Rex Commissar. Frontier? Are they guaranteed by anybody? Cock? Nope. That's good. And that's why we get a lot more nations to open up access to. So you guys do that. You all are over here. We'll be fine. I'm not going to use tanks for this one, maybe. We'll see. You guys come down here. And you're gonna, uh, just going to prepare for invasion. Pretty much. Ah, uh, never enough political power. How are we doing here? Building, 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 which is beautiful. Here, get us some civvies going, or some radar, so it makes it even easier for us. Restoring the good old Union. Good. Load up with. Enter the world stage. Oh. Reformist economics. Interesting. Support new private enterprises, which is actually probably the way Barrio in real life wanted to go, but whatever. Um, well, maybe not a whole bunch, but at least to some degree, from what I read. Rationing into the conquered lands? That's not bad, actually. Redistribute captured assets? Not bad. Not bad. Could use more tanks. Could use, could use more factors in general. Keep up two on millies at all times, so let's go with social economics. As we work to rebuild the nation's ruined economy, we must make sure we're not tempted to deviate from socialism as laid down by Marx, Lenin, and Stalin. The reformers within the party are suggesting changes that would allow elements of capitalism to seep back in. And thus they are misguided. We must hold steady and make sure that we maintain, or maintain, yeah, firmly socialist economic policies of state planning. Here we go, finally. Restore order? Just burn them all. Um, do we get these as... We don't have them as cores. Can we ever core these? Restore order. Yeah, we go, we go to war with them, but do we not get cores on them? That's a missed opportunity, man. Barry of Thaw. Well, Barry's no longer here, so there's no point in doing that. Purge the Sussevites. Uh, we'll probably do these two, at least, so we can get these guys done, but... Reform the ASSR. Get a state modifier. That's nice. I don't understand why we have these at all. I and mean, there's no point to have these if they cost so much and we don't have enough political power. Unless there's, unless there's a focus shoe that just lasts forever here, which I really doubt. So, don't really understand why we have it. Oh, you guys probably want to stop training too. Three, two, one, let's go. We should probably do fine here. Got a cock. A lot of manpower. A lot of good divisions too. Then again, we should have absolute air superiority here, right? No? Um. No. It is what it is, I guess. And this replaces what? Economic downturn. Yeah. Alright. Rationing in the reconquered lands. The economic situation in the newly reconquered territories is dire, especially in the west where the brutal Nazi occupation robbed the people in the land of everything they had, killing millions in the process. While we work to restore the basic supply chains and infrastructure, we must reinforce rationing in these unstable new territories to ensure... Oh, crap. I apologize about this. To ensure what? To ensure... Rationing in these new unstable territories to ensure an equitable allocation of basic resources. Good. Oh, we got more fact. Oh, more things here. Nice. Very nice. Four times shot bombers. Don't worry about those. I'm not going to make those anyways. Oh, there you go. Mm, go back up to two. Go up to three. Railway guns would be nice. I don't think we have them unlocked just yet. We're going to go to Oslin. Uh, Belarusian Soviets. Yeah, that's fine. Concentrate the forces. Concentrate them. Go in when you can. Not bad. Industry. More stuff like that. Yes, please. Always get two going at the same time. 50% is good enough for now. And what do we have here? Cast. Cast two is very nice. And do we have... We probably don't have Ukraine's Accord, do we? Oh, we do! Oh, that's very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Encryption? How about a little bit of decryption, then? Now it's getting quite a bit easier to actually win wars. Only 64 divisions. Sadness. Oh, we actually see this, too. Oh. Please come in. Actually, can we just go to war with you, too? Yes! Go in as well, just so we don't have to deal with them later on. Um, so what are we missing here besides planes? Main battle tanks that we good to work on. There you go. That's good. 
Easy, easy. Casa Carmen needs to die. You guys come down here too. You probably won't honestly move that much. Everyone else will probably move. Not too worried about it though. Uh, factories, get a lot more of those guys. Get some more planes. There you go. And there you go. Don't have to do that for a while now. Do some ship stuff because you can. Uh, we're looking at land auction yet? No. But social economics is very nice. Yes. Yes, please. Of course, we do want to improve the roads here eventually, too. We're not going to run out of places to build for quite a while, though. Which is pretty nice. Good, good, illa, good, illa, good, illa. Ah, yes, Finland. Never going to be liberated again. We have so much manpower. Pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. Don't want to deal with this, so thank you very much. Visible ink, mass production two. Ooh, actually, grab this one too. Concentrate industry. Pacification Germany. Don't bother me with that because no one gives a crap about it. Seriously, why do we care? No one cares. Fate of the Ukraine. Status of Ukraine. Fate of Belorussia. Well, I, I, I do that, but the game doesn't give us enough political power, so. And we're going to reintegrate Austin first. Nice. Store order Latvia. Again, Mer. Kekska. Alright. And then redistribute captured assets. A large range of various foreign assets, from the Germans in the West to the Americans in the East, have fallen under our control. How do we attempt to rebuild our economy and restore working infrastructure for our people? Seize assets of any kind, from the fascists or imperialists will suit as well. These will be redistributed across the country to serve those who need them the most. Nice. Oh, hello. Not bad. Oh, remove economic downturn. That'd be good to do and get rid of that as fast as possible. This is nice and all, but... I'm not interested in reintegrating these places if it costs way too much political power, like I said before. And I keep harping on that, but it just... It, I don't like being bottlenecked by people like, this much. Like, we want to reunite the Soviet Union, but you need political power to do so. Like, way too much political power. And then you have to court with political power, so you have to de delay everything you do, which I don't like. Which, you need some delay, but not an extreme amount of delay like what we have right now. Economic growth and progress towards developing socialism must be restored as we recover from the recent cataclysm. Goss' plan will be tasked with setting out new, a new economic plan for the coming years, relying on centrally established quotas for production and growth. Only through this centralized planning and encouragement towards economic targets can our economy be restored. Um, yeah, I'll make them anyways, why not? Attack Bomber 2s, yes, Baron now, so we're going to need some rubber. We need to close our economy, my god, we need so much tungsten or something like that. Um, yeah, we could use more tungsten. Where, where are the resources? Tungsten? Yeah, getting this part of the Caucasus area will be extraordinarily important. Muy importante. So up next would be the restore order of the free Cossack Red Army. And then who is this? Oz Why does Azerbaijan own all this stuff? Holy crap. What do we have to deal with them? And their lack of manpower. Oh my goodness. I have two to four divisions. Actually, how many guys do you have? Eight? Yeah, that's going to be really quick doing this. Yeah, I can just go ahead. New is nice. I have a little more radar, though. Uh, Kyrgyzstan. Well, we got about 30 more manpower, political power that we do need. Rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. With reunification achieved, reconstruction is now our great aim. We must rebuild the USSR in every sense, physically, with vital infrastructure to be restored. Economically, with the ruined economy of the country to be rebuilt and growth once again achieved. Politically, with party and state institutions restored in order to be reestablished against the Union. We should begin exploring our nation's vast wealth. Well, I kind of doubt it. No one cares about the wealth if we have no peepee. Uh, come on. Come on. Why do you have to wait so long to do this? Wait, wait, so long. So long. Please die for amusement. Oh, well, at least we've got some more army XP now. Covert arms production. And more soft attack. And way cheaper arms. Way cheaper. Actually, for that, we're almost done with our land auction. So we can either choose national cause, more uh, tons of more manpower, or defensive stratagems. I like the uh, tactical withdrawal. 
I like the recovery rate too. That's a lot of recovery rate. Let's, we don't need any more manpower. We really don't. I like. The, I love the reinforce rate. But national readout. Yeah, let's recover even faster if we can. I think that's the way I think. I would think we want to go. So that'll be pretty nice. Battles. Do we even care really? They've lost forty-four thousand men. Holy crap! Uh, you guys can make it down there, right? Fought the Ukraine. Oh, did you guys go red? A guarantee socialism. Okay. Okay, how's it we're looking? Oh, Jeremy's still in the Toronto court. So I guess we're not taking him out this campaign. Who the heck is down here? Oh, America invaded them. Oh, very nice job. Nice job, guys. Rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. Volgograd is ours. Been ours for a while. Would y'all like to move? Or what's going on here, son? There we go. All right, after that one, renovations of Moscow? Why not? Moscow is a great capital of a great union, but under the brutal yoke of the Nazi menace, it had been mistreated, large parts of it destroyed, and has utterly fallen into disrepair. This is completely unacceptable for the capital of our great nation. As we work to restore the entire Soviet Union, the city of Moscow, in particular, must be renovated and restored as a symbol of our rising from the ashes. Resources will be allocated from the utmost priority to build Moscow. Pretty much. Concentrate industry is very nice to have. Let's grab some of that, too. You guys doing okay around here as well? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys come down there too. And y'all be fine doing that. I'm going to send one group to Estonia already. And there goes Italy doing Italian things. Thank you. Casually only 15 million manpower. Never enough. If anything, I'm actually probably going to prop you guys up. Just because they need it. Because supply is going to be very quite god awful down there. But with Azerbaijan, we still need 65 here, which I do want to go to war with next, which I think would probably be the first best, maybe. Rebuild, 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 though. We can wait for that. Reintegration, reintegration of Vladivostok. Vladivostok has spent years under effective Western occupation and has an entirely legitimate government opposed to communism based in it. While this government has been destroyed and the city retaken, the corrupting influences of Western society remain strong within it and is now under our tight military occupation. Every effort must be made to restore this further bastion of the East to its former Soviet glory and reintegrate it as a proud city within the USSR. Absolutely. Now we'll get to Kyrgyzstan eventually. I might just use political power by the end of this just because it's kind of a little ridiculous how long we have to wait for this stuff to fire and just getting all this peepee. -pee. Big peepee. -pee. Huge peepee. -pee. Nothing but the peepee. -pee. Renovation of Moscow, Georgia. Azerbaijan. I just want a simple Azerbaijan. I'm a simple guy. I see Azerbaijan and I want to take it. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Over the Horizon Raiders. Not bad. Air accidents chance. We don't like air accidents chances. We want 0% chance for us to, for guys to get blown up, so. Um, good. Don't really have any carriers, but that's alright. Good. And there we go. Ah, why not? Strap bombers. Why not? I'll give you a little bit of love, too. That definitely helped out with tungsten, though. Definitely. Building up a ton of roads now, tons of factories. Uh, reintegration of Vladivostok, yes please, yes, 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 yes. Restoring regional cities. Alongside the capital, major regional cities from a large part of the backbone of the Soviet economy and society, we must make sure the reconstruction of these regional cities, long neglected during a collapse in Nazi onslaught, goes ahead alongside the rebuilding of Moscow. Plans will be drawn up and resources allocated to restore these cities to their former glory and, of course, beyond. Can you not go in? Are you not doing anything because we're just training you the entire time? That is my fault. Please, just go ahead and... Execute them all. Makes for a much better story than anything else. Ah, militia. They can even force defense successfully. Pretty sad. And they're there. Wait, Baku's not the capital. But Kirovabad is. Alright, whatever. Good job, guys. Pat's on the back for you. What are you guys up to? Nothing? Just hanging out? Cool. Hang out, that's fine with me. Mm, we'll definitely do that one for Tungsten. Purge these guys? That'd be nice. That'd be nice to do all these guys. Why did that open back up? Okay. 
Would you like to actually take out the enemy or just kind of sit next to them? All right. Baku is now the capital. And we should have it. There we go. Thank you very much. Yeah, regional seeds will be very good too. Mm, you guys are down here already. Go to Kyrgyzstan. I know it's a pretty garbage place to be because of all the supply, but whatever. We'll deal with it. Excavation is pretty nice too. There you go. And don't want to forget about this stuff too. Form an apartment. A reintegrated East. Our policies in the Far East have been successful. Subversive influence has been removed. And civil administration restored, we can consider the East of the country as fully reintegrated and begin normal political processes in the region once again. <laughs> Rebuild these areas. Petrograd local population goes down by, what was that? That's a lot of people that are going to die. My goodness. Well, I guess up next is Estonia. Oh, Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan's a little cheaper, though. Supply issues? Of course. It wouldn't be Central Asia without supply issues. Georgia eventually, too. Ah, get, get rid of these guys first. Tajikistan? That'd be nice to get rid of as well. Wow. Holy... Oh! Are these guys killing each other off now, too? Oh, that's so dumb. Are they fighting these guys? Umberto? What a bunch of aggressors. Kyrgyzstan. Because what else are we going to do here? Germany back at war. Of course. How typical. Oh, there you go. You guys can train. You guys are hanging out. Oh, good worth this. Only next to Tajikistan. Sorry, guys. I think I know how to do that already. I could be wrong, but I think I know. Nah, I'm also going to get some of that stuff now. Good. Right now, get some more rubber. Rubber, 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 rubber. Better. And since we don't want to import too much rubber, we... There you go. Oh, no. We went to war with another person. Whatever will we do about that? Probably kill them all off. And reintegrate east. I think I read that one, so if you want to read that one, please go right ahead. You can always pause back to that one. Um, Alright, Kyrgyzstan, thank you very much. Thank you for playing. Tank's looking okay. And yeah, get 25, because you can. Good job, guys. Get ready for the Tajiks next. And then state construction projects. As before the catastrophe, the state must lead the way in economic expansion. Reconstruction of old infrastructure and totally new construction projects will be planned and enacted under the apparatus of the state throughout the five, for, for the new five-year plans. This, as, as under Stalin, will rebuild Soviet industry and even more further on the road towards developing socialism. Nice. Well, at least they're gone. Alma-Ata, and this would make no difference really if we made a supply hub down here, but whatever. We can do it anyways, because we can. There's one right there. Oh, actually, it would be okay even if we didn't, but whatever. I'm going to build one up, because I hate I hate Central Asia with a burning passion. There's a lot of people that live there, but... Mm, not me. Oh, I can have a policy to restore Ukraine. Oh, that's cool. We can put population, lose some consumer goods for about a little more than two months. No, that's not bad. That's cool. I like that. Reconstruction boom. Oh, that sucks. But it's alright, we have so many cities, it doesn't really matter too much. It's fine with me. Fine with me. Georgia will be nice to take out too. I don't understand, why would it take so long to take out one state, and then you gotta just wait like a couple months and take out another state? It's not like the Toronto Court is gonna do anything against us. Take out another state. Mm. Yeah, let's get out of Central Asia as fast as possible first. There you go. Thank you. Levar Denikin. I'm sorry. Yuri is probably the one we're going to go with because he got, looks like he's a little concerned about his life. Yeah, that's all right. And why not? Because we can. 
Return of Soviet might, the reconstruction of the Soviet Union is well underway, and our former strength is returning. While we still have a long way to go on the road of full reconstruction, and much longer on the road towards communism, the Soviet Union is once again the great power on the world stage worthy of respect, rather than the divided remnants of a destroyed and humiliated nation. The Western powers regret ever having written us off, the Soviet might is back again. Not bad. Ships? Probably gonna ignore ships. And there goes the Tajik people. Thank you for playing. Not really. No, don't ever play again. I don't want to deal with you ever again. Please. But I don't mind dealing with the Lithuanians. Where are y'all at? Y'all hanging out? Cool. Very nice. I should have chosen the other guy. You know, benefits this guy. We have a little bit of Marxist-Leninism under Molotov till here. Look at all this green. It's not bad. Yeah, at this point I can't be bothered going up to uh, from 90 to a couple hundred to 100 for most of the planes. I don't really care anymore. Uh, you can train. We could do that, but we're not going to. We like them raw, which sounds very weird out of context. Don't quote me on that one. But it's alright. Uh, transports, interceptors, casts. Yes, please. Uh, we're going to next. So that's fine. Wow. Germany, you, uh, you doing okay? You really don't like Italians, do you? And Americans really don't like the Greeks. Or Croats. Or Serbs. Or Serbs, I guess. Well. Once again, Germany has been cucked out of Italian ambitions. Because right now we're at this stage. Alright. We'll get more fluency efficiency gain. Actually, it, it it's not worth doing that one yet. That's better to enter the world stage. Actually, after years of handing internal affairs, it's now time for the stable Soviet Union to look to the world. The rebelled Soviet Union must re-enter the world stage. Because the other one, while it would hurt us from consumer goods, building stuff up, just is not worth it. Just not worth it. Rubber processing. Alright. T-64 is very good. More naval stuff. Not bad. That's like the most stuff we've ever gotten. And like, out of all the doctrines, it's really easy to get naval stuff. Sir Kiev. Oh my god, America. Why are you so aggressive? Why not? Because we can. State of Bulgaria. Wait, Malgon Papers? Wasn't that supposed to... That, wasn't that earlier? If he... Ying King... Ying King... Uh... Seriously, bro. I mean, I get it. They're a bunch of ultra-nationalists or fascists or whatever, but... My God, America. It's one thing to take over a country economically, but it's another country just literally take Ljubljana from Slovenia and not return it. <laughs> oh, America's really quite the aggressor in this timeline, aren't they? I mean, there's not... It's, they're not... Okay, so I think this is glitched. Uh, the Chinese-American Cold War is fired again. Quite peculiar, but whatever. Let's at least get through the focus tree first, and then I want to see what happens next. Improved ammo is nice. Maintenance company? Sure, why not? What are you still training down here? Nothing? Hmm. Go, boys, go. They're only Estonians, for the love of God. Oh, we can go to war with Romania, too. Wow, we instantly went to war and we immediately killed them off. The Italian thaw, the Italian dictatorship is not what it used to be. Well, they were literally brute forced, ham fisted by the Americans. Look at his smile, though. Oh, never mind. End of fascist Italy. Uh. Alright. Alright, we like trains, so let's get some more trains. Thanks, Estonia. Wait, why, don't we, why can't we take all of Estonia? Liberate the Rocks Commissary at something there? No, I don't think we will. There you go. Declare war in Romania. I like that idea. Communist tech sharing? I'll screw everyone else. Let's go to war with Romania. We're going to be touching some American puppets here. Zrikerstan. Alright, so we go and need some of that here. I'm going to need a, a 
couple of air bases as well. That'll be fine. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Send military equipment to the Socialist Republic of Montenegro. Fellow Socialist nations currently involved in a war. We should help send support over to help strengthen their position. Rebel the Kremlin? That'd be nice, but we don't have PP for it, so. First phase Palace Soviets. Clear war on these guys. Are they guaranteed by anybody? Are they independent? Yeah. They oh, is that the German Empire? Republic of Upper Volta. Oh, it's, well, it is what it is. You know, Chukov has done well pretty by the end of this campaign. Not bad. Not bad at all. Can you please go in? They're still training, but please. Oh, we got like a month. Okay. Well, after that one, do we have any more focuses? I hope we do, but I kind of doubt it. I really don't need any more. Just because it just... You know. We need a pee, pee We need big pee, pee Lots of pee, pee. Come on, please go to war. Please go to war. Come on. Lithuania, Latvia. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Good stuff. Good. Even better stuff. We got plenty of main battle tanks, though, now. Uh, we'll put in the main battle tanks once these guys are gone. Uh, yeah. That'd probably be a good idea. Tanks. Make three or so at a time. That'd be very nice. There we go. Not bad. Where are we at? Oh, they're finally showing up too to guard the boards. They've got quite a few divisions. They've lost thirty-two thousand some. Uh, Air is okay. They do have some planes there. There's some Mezzo Schmitz. Not bad. But with this much manpower, I'm not too concerned about it. I got quite a few divisions in some of these places here. Holy crap. 16? They still can't hold us back? Kind of sad, man. Oh, go Fortress Buster, because you can. Signals? I did th think we threw them on our tanks. So that's pretty nice. Here, force it. 1.69. Hey, so we're done with the focus tree, which is great because. We're going to go to war with a couple more people. And we're just going to use Collins Commands for PP anyways. Um, yeah. But at least let's have this one be a fair war for us. Hmm. National cause is nice, but like I said, we have almost 16 million manpower. What's the point? Not bad. Quarter million have died? Not enough. How oh, much more manpower do they have? Pachayel the first has about 100,000 left. A stockpile, they have a couple guns left, quite a bit of anti tank. No artillery, which is very good, actually. Very, very good for us. No one else has upgrades. Oh, we lost another tank division. Oh, well, I'm not really too concerned about it now, am I? Medium tanks are okay. Get more APCs. That'd be good. There you go. Yeah, move faster. Yeah, tanks are okay. They're just not worth it sometimes, you know? I'll use whatever we start with, but other than that... Eh. That's my response to tanks. Just, eh. Not bad. A lot of divisions. 380,000? Not enough. How do we... What, what do you mean we don't have enough score? Is someone else in this war? I don't think they are. Um, can we go to war with Poland next? Gotta love to go to war. You know what? Let's get all the Baltic states. Well, we've got a lot of PP now. Simple use of cons commands, but just type in PP into the cons command and boom, we've got PP galore. Uh, we'll just do Lithuania, uh, Georgia, Armenia. Mm, we only four divisions there. Well, wait. Restore Vladivostok, you might as well. Uh, Far Eastern Docks, rebuild our fleet, Crimea, Petrograd, Kiev. I, I, I don't understand why. We have such a little PP when there's so many options here. I mean, I get it. Like, maybe the dad's intention is that we don't have enough political power to restore everything we want, which does make sense. But I'm not gonna wait around for another ten, literally ten years to do all this stuff. So, and this one, there's, for fighting corruption, I just, 
in my opinion, there should be some sort of like corruption meter you should have in your country, like 30% corruption, 100% corruption, and if you want to fight corruption, you get more benefits, like getting more consumer goods factories, maybe more political power, maybe more stability. I think something like that would be very cool. So no matter who's in charge, you can have a, a corruption meter to keep an eye on. But we're about the Kremlin, of course. Um, groundwork for the Palace of the Soviets. Cool. And we don't have enough political power for all this stuff. Where, what is this? Ta -ta -a -s -s -a. Um, where is all this stuff? Kamilkia. Fade Belarusia. Belarus, located west of the Russian core and north of Ukraine, is clearly a core part of the Grand Russian community. Under the Nazi occupation, it saw among the worst destruction and suffering, and now that it's been liberated by us, it'll be swiftly reintegrated to the Union with its necessary autonomy. An ASSR. An SSR. This one's more impactful. Uh. But that's one, two, three. It's nine. Get a state modifier, but this one's more impactful. An ASSR. Well, we're going to form nothing but ASSRs anyways here, so let's just do ASSRs. You more, a lot more stability and a factory, but we don't need more factories. We'll see what happens. Fade to Ukraine. After Russia itself, Ukraine had always been in the most significant region of Greater Russia and the Soviet Union, but under Nazi occupation, it had been enslaved and exploited for the Reich. With its back under our control, we were reintegrated into the Reich Union with necessary autonomy. Okay, sure, why not? Kazakhstan? Though sparsely populated, Kazakhstan is a god awful area to fight in, but it's a huge and strategically important landmass. But as the Soviet Union collapsed, much of it was lost to the Soviet control. When well, the control over the region is re-established by our forces, we can reintegrate that region back into the Union with the necessary political autonomy. SSR. ASSR. Kyrgyzstan? A mountainous nation right in the depths of Central Asia. The region of Kyrgyzstan was lost to Soviet control during this collapse of the USSR. When well, the control of the region is re-established by our forces, we can reintegrate this region back into the Union with its necessary political autonomy force. Liberation of Romania. Uh, we'll get that in a little bit. Tajikistan, located in the far southeast of Central Asia. The region of Tajikistan was lost to Soviet control during the collapse of the USSR. Of course, blah, 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 same thing as normal. Turkmenistan, a relatively sparsely populated nation in the far southwest of Central Asia. The region of Turkmenistan was lost to Soviet control, blah, 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 during the collapse of the USSR. So, and now we don't have political power again. Reestablish SSR. Well, I guess we should have done the ASSR. Ah, who cares at this point? I'm so pissed off about the whole political power thing that at this point, I don't care. Um, for the Nanets, SSAR? Sure. How about, let's look at Kazan. So we go over here. We go over here to Kazan. No state modifier, but once we come over here, and they get one of these. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. The Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic. Recruitable population factor. Oh, that's not good. But I guess we're going in to them anyways. Comey. Sure, why not? Get divisions, infrastructure, you get stuff here, which is actually really nice. Uh, Uzbekistan, most populous of the Central Asian nations, the reign of Uzbekistan, was also Soviet controlled during the collapse, blah, blah, blah. Yes, sorry, because he can, and just do that. I don't care. There. You can do that. No, I want you to... There we go. Better. All right, and we'll choose Vladimir Ganja... Ganjgava. Because why not? Naval stuff? Subs. Weapon sales, don't care. Fighting corruption, waste of time. Mm. Oh, and there goes Bulgaria. Oh, America. And um, Bulgaria's back. There's social democracy, but it doesn't really look like it. Um, How much social democracy support do you have? Oh, there goes Suslav. Following a gradual fall from grace over the recent past, and a temporary stint as party commissioner at Magnitogorsk, Suslov was stripped of his party membership and internally exiled to the frozen Arctic under close NKVD watch. This situation continued for several days while a state of legal limbo held over the former secretary of the Org Bureau. While backroom deals and power struggles occurred in Perm following his departure earlier today, following a presumed agreement within the Politburo, Suslov was arrested and charged with possession of disturbing or disturbing paraphernalia and media described. As pornography, snuff films, and much worse, of course. After an 11-minute trial, he was convicted and hanged similarly in the front of the party verification troika. Thus, ended one of the most illustrious and turbulent careers of a Soviet politician in recent memory. Despite having a reputation tarnished by anti-Semitism, Russian chauvinism, and opportunism, Sosov had been long one of the most powerful men in the USSR. He had represented the orthodox faction within the group, or the nation, and often facilitated between opposing and supporting the dominant power of the Premier Beria. This continued for nearly a decade under the Premier, until his recent set of political reforms. Suslov and his faction opposed these reforms, for which they were purged and gutted, now being led by a fragile old Molotov. A legacy of what have some already call, begun calling the mysterious man of the Politburo will be forever remembered for his tainted uh, by his misdeeds, but it will remain 
but it will forever be remembered. A black, the black horse is dead. Thank you, Latvia. Thank you for giving us everything you have. Lithuania? Yes, please. Good, good. Get some more war propaganda. Screw it. Might as well. And they're next. T sixty fours are pretty nice too. Blend. Oh, I forgot to edit those things. But at this point, it's, it's a little bit too late for us to really care too much about it. And everyone wants to go down to Armenia. Is it Armenia? Oh, both. Both Armenia and Georgia. Okay. This might be slightly overkill for what we're going to be doing down here. The partisan purge, though. In the waning hours of night yesterday, a drastic series of arrests that were carried out through the USSR. Sources are indicating that tens of thousands of former partisans have been arrested in what Premier Beria Premier Beria, as described as a purge of defeatists and opportunists, a party officials have also confirmed the arrest of Comrade Ivan Trukhanich, former leader of the military operations among the partisans. These facts combined have come together to illustrate a total removal of former partisans from the state apparatus and military within the USSR. These arrests are a drastic reverse from Premier Beria's early policy of expressly integrating former partisans into the state, leading to many rumors as to the cause of this recent purge. The question is not a difficult one. Government Turkinich's partisans has become the main support bloc of the Kaliningists, who would often oppose Beria within the political bureau since his replacement of Kalinin. Following other recent purges of anti beria groups, the partisans appear to have been on the next in line, to the surprise of nearly no one in the Union itself. However, global interests such as the U.S. and British governments, in a quite rare moment, have commented on this recent Soviet political development, condemning it for pers persecuting the very men who have fought to keep Beria's Arump Union alive. In the typical form, the Premier and the party rejected any international interference in Soviet affairs, quickly referring into the German Soviet War, where the West was silent as a sign of a lack of moral authority. They have served, they have served the Union farewell, and honestly, no one cares what the West has to say, especially about our guys here. So, they don't care. They're just political opportunists. George is next, though. Mm. Resources, of course. Weapons development kicks out biochemical research. Don't really need it, but you might as well do it. Okay, why not? Logistics three is very nice too. Interceptors, not going to use them, but we can research them anyways, because we can. Fighting corruption, don't care. The Arab Federal Republic? Oh, okay, why not? Junior Republics, oh, we can't do any of this stuff yet. And there we go. I mean, it's probably going to be okay. Not bad. Pretty quick, once you throw all our divisions in here. Um... Batumi, we have Tbilisi now. Very nice, very nice. Thank you for playing, Georgia. Alright, and I want you guys on the border with Armenia next. There goes your new diplomacy. Mm, Bulgaria, if you want. Oh, wow. Hungarians do not like us here, do they? I don't think the Poles like us here, too. It's alright, whatever. We're not going to come for them this time. Overall, not too bad. Union of Soviet Socialist Republics look pretty good. Uh, is there any way to get Mongolia with us? I'd love to get Mongolia. But probably not. Afghanistan and let them just butcher themselves on our line? Yeah, that's a strategy. I also didn't do anything here either. Master the economy? Foreign peoples? Hmm. See what you can do. You know, go Fortress Buster, and we'll force the attack. Is that a bit extreme? It probably honestly is. It's alright, though. Afraid of Georgia? Located on the western side, on the southern Caucasus, we have been told not to talk, do finish Georgia. Oh my god, please. We started with more score than we needed to take these guys out. But, uh, Georgia has always been a little rebellious region within the USSR. And as the Nazis swept into the Caucasus, they allowed the creation of a puppet Georgian state. Well, this, with this illegitimate creation destroyed and Georgia back under control, we can reintegrate into the USSR. The largest of the southern Caucasus nations. Uh, Azerbaijan was seized by the Nazis for its precious oil wealth. Now that we have liberated the country back from the yoke of Nazi colonialism, we can reintegrate it back into our country and welcome back those Azerbaijanis who have remained loyal to our cause. Status of Armenia. Nestled in the middle of the southern Caucasus, Armenia is quite the distant front 
tier of the Russian control in the South for a long time, and as the Nazis swept into the Caucasus, they allowed the creation of a puppet Armenian state. With it destroyed and Georgia back under our control, we can be integrated into uh, the USSR. Autonomous. Maybe we should have given it autonomy. But oh well, at this point it's a little bit too late. It's fine. Whatever, autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic. Well, I think that's going to be it for us. There's nothing else here for us. I have complained enough, so I do apologize about my complaining, but... It is what it is. Um, development weapons. There's no more focuses, of course, as we did see. And we're pretty much done with any sort of content here. But hey, I guess that's it, my friends. We did it quite well. It's, it's a little disappointing that... Even if Germany like re like is able to have the civil war, maybe no civil war, there's nothing regarding Germany here. Like you think well, this is all building up for us to go back to war with Germany, right? Right? You think you'd have some sort of way to go back to, to war with the Germans, especially if the Toronto courts do not invade? My God, I love this building. But I guess that's not what the intention of the devs. Oh, but that's okay. But hey, let me know what you thought of this campaign. Did I complain enough? I think I complained too much. But thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all in another campaign soon. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, 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 tremendous rest of your day.